My name is John Moore and I'm a 8th grade English teacher at the State of Middle School in Brownsville, Texas. My question is for President Bush. Um, President Bush, my question is, will you please take the time to meet the Rendon family and know them as well as you know the Hunt family? My name is Matthew Webster and I'm a high school English and ESL teacher from Brownsville, Texas. And I'm directing my question to Senator John Cornyn. My 300 students wrote letters to you earlier this year and last, and I just want to know what are you doing to make sure that their dreams come true with, with legislation like the DREAM Act? My name is Kyle Harrell. I'm a special education teacher in Brownsville, Texas. Um, my question is for all of the presidential candidates. Um, I'm wondering if you know what percent of people are on overstayed visas that are quote unquote illegal immigrants as opposed to people that are coming over our southern border. I'm Crystal Canales. My question is for Senator Barack Obama. If you really mean what you say that you're willing to listen to the people on the border, are you willing to march with us to show that this wall would be a disgrace to the community? My name is Matt Smith and I'm a volunteer from Brownsville. My question is for the entire Congress. Why did you play politics instead of pass immigration reform? And I also have a statement for the Democratic candidates for president. I hope you really mean what you say when you talk about the border in a national debate held in Texas rather than playing politics. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Stevens. I teach U.S. government at Seymour Nevada High School. And my question is to the U.S. Congress. I want to know what you're going to do specifically to harness the power and energy and morality of the young people in this country who are crying out for real social change, whether it be a social service academy or a department of peace. Use us, please, to do good in this world. My name is Cole Farnham. I'm a fifth grade teacher in Brownsville, Texas, and my question is to Senator McCain. Um, Senator McCain, are you aware that most of the people we've been meeting do not know about their legal options to fight against this border wall? Thank you. My name is Cindy Johnson, and I'm a United Methodist uh, uh, member. I've been a member since I was a child. I went to the UMYF, like you mentioned, Ms. Clinton. I'm also studying to be a deaconess, and I've been studying the doctrine of the United Methodist Church, and it's very strong for the immigrants. And uh, we'd like for you to join us and talk to the people that have been living here and uh, discuss what we are thinking and so that we could come up with a better solution than the wall. Thank you. Uh, Jay Johnson, Grassroots Citizen. Uh, Governor Perry, where and when are you going to manifest your leadership over the state of Texas and prevent this invasion of uh, Texas land? And to, Governor, uh, to Senators Clinton, Obama, and McCain, do we really have to wait until after one of you is elected for one of you to show leadership in stopping this wall? Uh, would one of you uh, agree to support the Grijalva bill in the Senate side to cancel out the Real ID Act where one man who is not elected can override decades of congressional acts such as uh, environmental, uh, endangered species, archaeological, clean water, clean air, like Michael Chertoff did in Arizona. We're not going to allow that to happen here in Texas. My name is Luis. I'm here from us in FAR. I just have a question for Ms. Clinton. Ms. Clinton, um, if you are against the wall, please come and, and hear us here because it's not fair for these people, like, for the wall. Lo que nos hace falta es que nos vengan a arreglar el, el, el EVI, que lo compongan, porque si hay un un una huracán igual como Viula no va no va a quedar granjeno eh, es es lo que yo presiento que en otro en otra creciente grande que venga el el bordo no resiste un agua muy fuerte es mucho dinero lo que te va a gastar allí en esa wall ese dinero lo pueden usar para para arreglar el bordo el levy we're very concerned um... I think it's more of an issue, the levee, than uh, the border wall because, um, you know, with all the hurricanes and things that are happening, uh, it is very possible uh, if, you know, with the hurricane that all these houses here will be destroyed here in Gran Geno. So um, I think we really want to address that issue because uh, if something did happen like that, um, 
we really wouldn't know what to do. I mean, all, all our homes would, would be destroyed. So I think that's something that the government really needs to pay attention to.